Hey, this is Time Bomb, and if it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button to catch all the updates. Thanks a lot for joining me here today. We are gonna do a mutt draft walkthrough here, and I'm gonna go over exactly what I am trying to do to have the most success when I am drafting. So, not do it 12 to 7. I just went with uh, six wins in a row, though, so I'm feeling a bit better now about it on this mutt draft. So, I've been going with the three tickets just to get you know the most bang for my buck out of it. I'm usually looking for a 4 3 defense. Redskins, no, oh, Jaguars, I like them a lot. I just won with them, so I'm gonna. We're gonna roll with them again. I feel like I've seen them in most uh, most drafts so far. Okay, Johnson over the middle. Ogletree's a little faster, taller. Butler not quite enough speed. Six three versus. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? We're gonna go Johnson a little bit taller. Uh, Yaji is a second running back. Ooh, Williams got the speed. I'm always thinking speed. My corners and wide receivers. I just want you know speed if I can't even get the highest overall there. And then I'm thinking about, you know, up front. I want to have some goons to send. I want to just have as much. I want to get all four of them filled out for sure. This is not great. Pass block, I think it might be better to just have a tackle out there. Oh, nice. Whew. Definitely going to get Ramsey out on the field. Then here in middle line, your left end. Oh, I was kind of hoping for a. You always want both, though. I feel like that's such a good one, but maybe we can still get Vita Via. I think I'm gonna bring. You know what? If we do get Bosa, another strong left end, we, we will replace him. So we could always sub him in. 88 speed's pretty solid. 90 speed. Hello. There we go. Just speed on the on the wideouts. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, Cameron Jordan. This that is inviting both of those guys, but I I would like to fill out my secondary as well, especially if I can get a good strong safety. That's important. More linebackers. Ooh, Pepper's 6'7". I always like having him around. So I might put him uh, even on an outside linebacker and a spy or something. Uh, yeah, I guess we gotta go with the right guard. You know what? Already at the left tackle. Where are they? Okay, so running to the left will be solid. Ooh, see that hurts. I've already got it strong. Look at that. Oh, that is a rough one. I guess I should have. Oof. And just, I hate when you get overloaded. That's the one thing you gotta be ready for. You Sometimes we'll get overloaded. I don't have much, I don't know why I don't. My cat is causing trouble again. So I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with this back. I don't know if that's the right call here. Maybe I should have gotten the second strong safety. Ooh, nice running back options. So we'll go with AP. I've been okay with him so far. I, I wonder if I maybe should have went Zeke. Cat is just being a trouble my maker. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh. Hopefully we can upgrade these. Hopefully I get a legend QB. Ugh, I don't even know who to pick here. This is one of those, I guess, Zerbisky, highest overall, and he's got the throw power, so I guess that's the move there. Hey, where is 86? See, this is a tough call. I almost think, oh, no. Okay, no, I'll go with him. What are we doing there? Pretty solid, like at least one more CB. DJ Moore has been solid for me. He's been pretty solid. In these drafts, I think I've had him in my lineup almost every game. Oh, how many strong safeties are they gonna give me? Holy. I like the looks of this Jenkins, that's the problem. No, we'll go with, we'll fill out this lineup. Castro out there. Not bad, not bad offensive line. Oh, uh, yeah, we need this DT. Yeah, and I got no linebackers, and I want another CB. Yeah, I want to be stacked at CB, so I've got four CBs. We're going good. We're going to play a lot of dimes, nickel. You know, the other thing actually I should mention here is you always want to go in and uh, just make sure you've got your best options at each each backup position here. You know, you might have someone you want to 
get in in somewhere else that might be messed up. So you, oh, I forgot. I, did I draft him or did they, is this look? I don't remember drafting all these wide outs. It's pretty fast. Maybe I did. I drafted a lot of wide outs. <laughs> I didn't even remember doing all that. Uh, but yeah, see, look at all those CBs. Mm -mm. Oh, interesting. So they moved him over there and put Peppers in there. Okay. And just that linebacker. Just one middle linebacker. Uh, I can move there. Yeah, no, I think the barber's looking better. No, I like to use secondary a lot for my punt and kick return, just so that it doesn't tire out my running back or any offensive players. And especially if they have, you know, faster speed. It's like, may as well go with them on those kick returns then. Um, yeah, I guess that all makes sense. Uh, back in the slot. Do I really want back in the slot? Yeah, let me put Robbie Anderson with that 90 speed in the slot. All right. So yeah, so this basically it. We go through and make sure that we're all set up there and my kick return's good and then, you know, we should be good to go. I've got this, I know this defense as well. If you don't know the defense that you're running, if you just picked a random 3-4, it's always a good idea to go through, check it out online, use a resource, search for that playbook, just so you are familiar with it, know exactly what you're working with. If you really want to get yourself ready, you can even go into practice mode and just make sure you understand what the plays are. Maybe you set a few audibles for some key formations that you know you're going to be using. Um, I'm using the Wham a lot, and that I think that's the new meta right now. Wham is the meta, so look out for it. And in Draft Champions, I'm just running a Wham scheme, and then I go into Bunch and maybe run a few plays at a shotgun, back to Wham, pound the rock a lot, and it's getting the job done for the most part. Uh, but I just pulled out my first uh, win here. There we go. Got six. Uh, gonna get the max rewards here. I thought I'd check them out and go over it here on the stream. So I get the five tickets. And then I'm going to get 15,000 coins. Then we are going to get these, a bunch of uh, these, which I need for my Madden Series 3 one. So I'm going to get that, the nice pack, and competitive contender pack. So I am 12 and 7. So before that one, yeah, I was 6 and 7. I was having a rough go at it. And I just, I felt like I kind of figured out how to draft, but I wasn't quite... Uh, getting it going like I should. I was playing pretty solid defense. I've been playing a lot of nickel, a lot of dime, and then a lot of like 4-3 to stop the run. And I had some 4-4 out of the Jaguars playbook, which was really nice. I liked that a lot. Uh, that Jaguars is probably one of my favorite playbooks right now on offense and defense, the way I just played that run with. I might try it out even in weekend league. I don't know. We'll see. But let's take a look at these rewards here. And then maybe I'll go, th yeah, I'll go through and draft exactly what I'm doing afterwards. I'll do show a live draft after, after we go open these packs up. So, um, yeah, we got the two contender packs, and I'm doing pretty good. Over a million coins. My dad got a little dickhead. Hey, 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 hey! Oh my gosh! Fight with my cat live on TV. It's like trying to live on TV, live on my YouTube right here. Hey. <laughs> hey, 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 stop it. Stop it. It's like he knows I'm recording, so he's giving me a hard time. He already got his food, too. What is up with him? He's being a little jerk. Nothing in that pack. He's got to fight with my cat. <laughs> oh. Little harvest player. Another harvest player. I don't know those might, if I do some of those harvest sets. So I want to get the, uh, the LT. I just don't quite have the pieces or enough coins for it. I can't believe they went up so much. They were like 260, 270 the other day, and now they're up to 320. I was dumb not to buy them in that 200. I thought they would drop more though. All right, competitive champions pack or... Mm, well, for you guys, I'm gonna take the pack, all right? Always take the coins, but for you guys, you specifically, I'm gonna open the pack up. You know, right now, put it up. Put it up for me. Put it up for me. See what we can do. Just nothing yet. Oh, an elite. Buddha Baker. Can't power up. Alan Page. All right. Oh, I didn't realize they started, the power up started at 76 now. And the last one is nothing. All right. Well, 
There we go. I guess I should have taken the 30k for sure, like usual. So that's uh, that's a reward there. So I, I mean, as always, take the coins. Thanks a lot for checking out this video. I've been Time Bomb. Give it a like if you're down with the content. I guess a dislike if you're not. Thanks a lot for checking out the video. I've been Time Bomb. You guys are awesome, and I will catch you guys later.